It's Nick the Nutter Buster coming at you again. Today we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about squirrel steps. Um, we're going to kind of go over, I've seen a lot of guys that struggle with, you know, threading the OCB buckle, getting the OCB buckle tight, getting the steps situated. So we're just going to kind of cover how I do all of those things. Um, we're going to cover, you know, how to orient uh, your buckle on your strap. And we're going to cover how I get them tight on a tree. Um, We'll just go ahead, we'll get started. We'll go ahead and we'll cut to a video first of threading that OCB buckle. Okay, so here you can see all the pieces of the ring of step. You can see the strap with the flat buckle. You can see the OCB. And then you can see all five of my squirrel steps. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out first. We're going to make sure that this strap, we're going to make sure that buckle is up. All right. Make sure we don't have a twist in our strap, and we're just going to start threading the squirrel steps onto the buckle. Okay. All right, so we've got the buckle up. We've got the steps up. Then, all right, with that bar touching the lever handle, okay, we're going to go over the bar, we're going to go down, and we're going to go back up. Just like that. We're pull that tight. That's what it should look like when it's done. Okay, so now you've got your steps, you know, threaded, set up the way you want them. Now it's time to put them on a tree. Um, so all that we're going to do. So a tree like this, um, this is nice because you don't have super rough flaky bark. Um, but we're going to kind of pretend that this is like a worst case scenario tree. We're going to pretend that this is like a big pine tree or something like that with rough scaly bark. Um, but the first thing you do is just get a little slack in your strap, move it around, kind of get them where you want them. And it is something that you'll want to practice, um, kind of getting to be a good judge of, you know, how to space them so that they're equidistant around the tree. Definitely take your time. Make sure that you get that right because you're going to be camped out on this thing for a while. So, definitely not a step to rush. So those look, look pretty good, I think. Okay. Um, and you'll want to try, you know, to make sure if you've, if you've got a tree that's got like a flat spot on it or a divot or something like that, you kind of look at your strap. You want to make sure that strap is pressing in. You might have to sometimes make a compromise and not have the step exactly where you want it. Um, just to make sure that you're not sitting on a, you know, piece of, you know, bark or something like that. It's not right. But, but once, you, once you've got your spacing figured out, though, um, you want to make sure, hook that buckle. And pull that tag end as, I, I always pull it as tight as I can get it, all right? So take up as much slack as you can before you count the buckle over. Um, then make sure that your top strap is lined up with your bottom strap, okay? So tight, in line, and then you're going to just, I usually just take the heel of my hand. You can't really pry it over with your fingers. You're going to put a lot of force into it. But we're going to put the heel of our hand right there on that buckle. And just mash it over okay and then you can kind of see all right that's not really going anywhere now sometimes if you got a loose bark tree what you might have to do is cam it tight as you can uncam it and then get another bite on it Right. that's as tight as you can get a strap around a tree 
I don't care what you're using, ratchet strap, you know, screw link, whatever. You cannot get a strap any tighter on a tree than that. If you double cam it, uh, it's not going anywhere. But then what you can do is you can walk it around the tree. So you put pressure on them. And that's, that's not going anywhere. So you will see there is some lateral movement that you can induce. Um, basically, you can go back and you can see my other video that I did on uh, you know, how to position yourself in the saddle, where to hit your tether, uh, you know, how high to sit on it. You don't want to be you know, putting a lot of horizontal pressure on those, okay? You want to kind of keep a high seated position, keep that pressure down on that step as much as possible um, but by double camming it uh, to get just any little bit of stretch out of that strap helps kind of press the actual squirrel steps into the bark of a loose tree that first time around and then when you get that second cinch on them it's very very tight um, I've, I've like I said I started hunting with them back in December hunted with them through half of December January February March April hog hunting uh, so put a good good season on them um, haven't had an issue on them. Um, lightweight, they shoot 360 degrees around a tree, they're public legal, you're not going to scratch up a tree. You can see that didn't take hardly any time to set. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's this week's video, how to, how to get a strap as tight as you can possibly get it around a tree with a uh, OCB buckle. So y'all take it easy and I'll see you next week.